Hey guys, today we are going to create a simple animation app. So first I have created a new application and I have named it animation demo one. So first I'm going to delete this hello world text view. So select it and hit delete button. And now I'm going to add a button here and you can add whatever text you want. I'm going to leave it button and I'm going to I'm not going to change the ID so the ID is button and after that I'm going to assign an ID to the layout so double click anywhere on the layout and name it layout so we are done with the XML file now open main activity dot Java file and here we are going to create a reference for the layout so write view group my layout and to resolve this hit alt enter so it will get imported here android dot view dot view group and inside on create method write my layout equals view group find view by id r dot id dot layout and after that we are going to set on touch listener for this layout so as we set on click listeners for buttons we set on touch listeners for the layout so write my layout dot set on touch listener and here write new relative layout dot on touch listener o capital and in these to resolve this error, click on implement methods and click OK. So on touch method will get implemented here and just remove this statement return false. And we are going to call a method named move. And after since this method is returning a boolean value, so we are going to return true. So this move method is not yet returns that's why it is giving an error so we are going to write it now so write public void move and here now we are going to animate this button so I'm going to move it from here to here so first we are going to move it from this position to the bottom and then to the right so for that we are going to create a reference for the button first as we created a reference for the layout here. So write view my button equals find view by id r dot id dot button. After that we are going to create two layout params variables first one is position and the second one is size so I'm going to change this button's position from here to here and I'm going to change its size too so first we are going to change the position so write relative layout dot layout params remember this or just copy this because we are going to use it many times and name it position because first you are going to change the position equals new relative layout dot layout params and inside these brackets write again relative layout dot layout params dot wrap content again the same comma relative layout dot layout params dot wrap content so this statement is going to wrap everything inside it so now we are going to add a rule to this position so write position dot add rule it can take one argument or two so we are going to use the two arguments so the verb will be relative layout dot align parent 
bottom because we are going to change the position from here to here first and then from here to here so align parent bottom comma relative layout dot true and now we are going to change the position from here to here from the bottom position to the right position so position dot add rule relative layout dot align parent right comma relative layout dot true so when you just write align parent bottom it won't make the position from here to here it will make from here to the bottom left corner because that is the default parent bottom position now we are going to assign this rule to our button so for that write my button dot set layout params and inside that write position now the position part is done we are going to change the size so write view group dot layout params size equals my button dot get layout params and now size now size dot width equals I'm going to change the width to 500 and size dot height equals 300 or 250 and now we are going to assign this rule to the button so write my button dot set layout params and here make it size now we are going to run this application so I have already started the AVD if you don't know how to create a custom AVD then I have a tutorial on that I'll put a link on the screen and also in the description box below and I'm going to run this application by clicking on this button so the app is launched on the AVD now all we have to do is click anywhere on the layout except the button so I'm going to click here and as you can see the position changed from here to here and also the size increased so this was the animation but if you want to make it smaller but if you want to see the animation or transition from here to here then for that all you have to do is just add one more statement so here before the position part write transition manager dot begin delay transition and for that you have to give view groups object so we are going to pass my layout here now I'm going to run this application again the app is launched on the AVD now so I'm going to click anywhere on the layout and as you saw the transition was visible now because it was delayed it is giving an error here because this transition manager class is deprecated it is only available after API level 19 and I have mentioned the minimum SDK level as API 17 but my AVD is API 21 that's why it is able to run here otherwise it won't run and it will give an error so just keep that in mind so that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Android tutorials and hit the like button. Bye.